Good morning, everybody. It is a chilly day in Texas, especially when you compare it to the last few days that we've had. I think it hit, I think it almost hit 90 yesterday, and today it is down to, can you see that? Huh. Down to like 50 degrees, which is a little bit chilly. But we have big plans today. First, gotta feed the chickens, then talk about the shipment from Lowe's. Kelly gonna help? Kelly gonna help me today? Yep. Callie knows the drill. There's the shipment from Lowe's, which we'll begin to after this. But Callie knows we gotta go take care of the chicks first. Huh. These little velociraptors feed consumption has just skyrocketed in the last couple days. Like they're always, always hungry. I put in one of the food trays because I take it out for 12 hours, because if not they'll overeat. And they're just all over it. Probably should throw down a couple more shavings. Right over there. Hey, careful, buddy. Still 104 for 104, so that means I'm doing something right. So with this with this whole virus stuff going on, I had to change my plans a little bit because the shocker knot netting that Premier One makes uh, is back ordered and should be in stock like any day now. But I didn't want to have to risk uh, any kind of time delay or anything to where it because these chicks are supposed to be getting out on pasture in about about a week now. Um, I didn't want a time to I didn't want any kind of time delay to where it keeps them in there any longer than they need to be. So you adapt, you adjust, and uh, got to go with something different. Gonna build myself a smaller, a little bit more bulkier style Joel Salatin chicken tractor and see how it goes. Here's our most of the ingredients needed to make it. Doing a little bit different. You know, instead of aluminum, I'm using the plastic, uh, plastic roofing panels. And then we got some pressure treated wood. They're, eight, they're two by four by eight, so I'm gonna make it real easy. I'm gonna make two two by eights and put 52 birds in each, which will give them plenty enough room. Well, taking a break from building the chicken tractor, here's the progress right there. So far, so good. I'm not gonna film too much uh, of the first build because I have to make two because, uh, yeah, I've been making a couple mistakes <laughs> and my language isn't the best when I do that, which Nicole couldn't probably hear. So, but the second one, I'll probably film and if, it, if the first one comes out good, I'll probably film the second one. But we're going into town, got a bunch of errands to run, might show you a little bit of Sulphur Springs too, which would be pretty cool. This is our town square here. So nice. Things are starting to open back up, which is awesome. Ooh, that lighting, not very good. Got the sun in my eyes the whole time. Well, we made it back from town and I finished the first chicken tractor. As you can see, got a lid for it right there. Trying to decide if I want to put it on hinges. Eight by eight, and it is pretty heavy, which I knew going in because I used two by fours when everybody told me not to, but you know what? I'm trying something. I made it a little bit smaller than the 10 by eight that Joel Salatin does, and uh, I like it. First time out on grass, huh? Ever. Check it out. How do you like it? Check it out. What do you think? Kind of cool? First time out on grass. You're going to be out here in about a week. Just wanted to test out your new home. Check it out, huh? What do you guys think? You like it? Yeah, we'll have some fun in there. They are obviously way too young to be left in here overnight. But, you know, for a little bit they can test it out. Check them out. They're already picking at little pieces of grass and stuff and whatever bugs they might find in there. Look at them. They got something. Ah, oh, that tasty? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, <clears throat> so it's the next day. And I am still very pleased with this chicken tractor. Now, what I have to do 
because I have to build a second one. But there's a couple little adjustments that I'm going to make to it and uh, go from there. Now, if this is something that turns out pretty good because, you know, it's pretty easy to build. I did it in just a couple hours. Uh, if I have to make a third one, I'll explain how I did it and everything. But right now, you'll just see me build it. Step one. Alright, little update. I have one sheet metal screw left and I have a lot more plastic panels to put on so I gotta go to the store get some more of these but you guys get the gist of it. We're making it look like this one right here and you know what? It's coming out pretty dang good. This one we made a little bit shorter so we didn't have the issue with the hardware cloth being almost too short. So. This time, this the, the height on this one is one a foot and three quarters. This one's two feet. Makes it a little bit lighter. But all I really have to do is uh, cut one panel in half, put one there, one piece there, put the hardware cloth around the outside, and make the lid. So it's basically done. I have until Wednesday to get this done. So it's getting kind of hot out. Probably gonna take a break. That's my style of a chicken tractor that I'm doing. Gonna see how that works. Yes, it's gonna be heavy. I moved this one yesterday, put a couple chicks in it, and uh, could feel the weight, but you know, in reality is I have to do it for five weeks and twice a day because two chicken tractors. So that comes out to be 70 times, hopefully a year. That's not that much. They're gonna be good in here and uh, yeah, chicks are almost on the pasture. We'll have a, a, a cow update coming to you soon because we do have updates on that. By the way, everything is going great with them moving around. Um, we got some cool stuff coming up. We got we had something, we had what I really wanted to shoot today rescheduled. But hey, that's how it goes, no big deal. But hopefully these turn out to be the world's best chicken tractors and these and keeps these little chicks safe. So until next time, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get updates when we post new videos, which is quite often right now. It's three to four times a week. Shooting for, for we're shooting for four, but it's realistically three because, you know, life. But yeah, drop a comment down below if you think there's anything I should do differently with it. Hey, throw your two cents in. Might take it, might not. I like to see, I like to do this, okay? A lot of people are saying, oh, Ryan, you should take people's advice, you know, and I do. I, I read a lot. I, I, I read a lot. I study stuff, and then I want to give the way that I'm doing at least 
enough time to determine yes or no, whether it's the right direction or the wrong direction. And a good barometer is 90 days. And if something works in 90 days, then it works. And if something doesn't work after 90 days, then it probably doesn't work. But that gives it enough time to where, you know, you can tell and give it a real shot without saying oh you know what didn't didn't work this one time blah, blah 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 no it's because you didn't work you didn't tweak things you didn't observe things you didn't really give it a real shot for it to work so man one thing about these things is they do put off a ton of light and it's going right into my face but that's what they're supposed to do is reflect the sun keep the chicks cool because out here they're saying that if I do it, if I run these in the summertime, I have to put misters in here because it gets too hot. And then I didn't. I wanted to stay away from the metal because of that. So until next time, that's our chicken tractor. Let's see how it goes.